Freddy Kong, thanks for two months. Prime Val, thanks for the eight. Speaking of cavalry archers. When I heard of charge, I was expecting SC2 Zealot Charge uh, Mechanics 11. Yeah. I don't, I don't think the pathing is good enough in Age of Empires to do that. But yeah, that would have been... Would have been something, right? Pathing and clumsiness of Age of Empires 2 makes that hard. <laughs> Yo, Jimmy Jesus, thanks for the five uh, five gift subs to the channel. Thank you very much for that. We had Zenny with the five euro at donation as well. Uh, Burke, thanks for 500 bits. Everyone has their opinions, which is good, but we need to remember how much effort I put into working the game and constantly passionate and improving it. Like I said, the effort is is not not in question, right? There's no you cannot question their efforts and their wish to make the game the best it can be, right? There is no question about that. Antonia Aguia, thanks for the prime. True Blue Indian, thanks for six months. Uh, which other unit than the coastal air do you think will be nerfed for the next month? Thanks for making the last year bearable with your positive content. You're welcome, dude. Glad you enjoyed it. So, what do I think? Um, again, I haven't played enough with the sergeant to have a proper opinion on that. At least not enough in high-level games, you can say. What are my opinions right now? Uh, probably that... I don't think units necessarily will be changed, besides the coastal air, but I think some text might be changed. Like first crusade, instantly spawning 50 sergeants is just nonsense. My suggestion for that would be make like the next 30 sergeant or something produced for free. That would be a good way, because then you have a tech that gives you a chance to produce 30 sergeants for free. And also, but it, you don't have instant spawn, right? You still have to produce them. The issue with the thing right now is their instant spawn, right? And that also doesn't feel like Age of Empires to me at all. Ooh, that's a terrible mill. That was a misclave. Well, shit. So that would be the... I would suggest that, at least. Instant spawning of units is just... No, no, no. no. And then besides that, what else? I also think the... I, I hate the Flemish Revolution, honestly. It's a fun, it's gimmicky. It's good for memes. It's one way or another that tech finishes the game though, right? Is that something you want in this game? A technology that finishes the game? Like either, like when, when, when will you use that technology, right? You will use it upon having to defend and you feel like, okay, this is my last resort to defend. I will have to do this upgrade. And you sacrifice everything in order to try and survive and make a counterplay. But your the game depends on the success of that that means hey okay if this works i might have a chance to win if it doesn't i'm dead and the game is over no matter the outcome personally i don't think that's a good thing to have in a game secondly the other option will be like okay i have let's say you have 200 pop he has 150 pop you have 70 military he has like 30 military okay I will win this game now by simply overwhelming him because he cannot defend against against um, he cannot defend against 200 military right now, right? Do Flemish uh, revolution, game is over. You won, and it's like okay, is that really a good tech for a video game or an RTS? Ecumens don't have instant spawn of 10 Kipchaks. 
The way that Kipchak tech for humans work is that you have to produce them. You can make the 10 Kipchak for free, but you have to produce them, which takes time. Yeah, like, uh, personally, I don't like all in tech like that. So I, I think it's a bad thing to have in the game. Time is a resource, absolutely. Uh, why do you open arches here instead of scouts? I lost my scout, so I don't feel like going arch number, uh, uh, scouts. And I think he will go either sergeant, tower rush, something. Like dungeon rush, he'll do something wacky. So I'm just gonna open some arches and then I want to transition to like uh, carry arches later. Nice scouting, thank you. <laughs> Isn't this the best scouting? It's like... We were destined on the path of death. Pretty much. Smooth for a good player? Oh, dude, you have no idea. You have no idea. If you haven't watched this boy play, whew, you're missing out. And look, I cannot do a, a scout anymore. I don't know if he's there. How weird is that? I will not know he, if he's there until I've scouted. So I do agree. I think it was Nikov who brought it up that removing the Palisade scout actually makes losing scout to TC way... Like, it, you get way more punished for losing scout to TC. Because you don't, you're not able to have any way of scouting anymore. But then again, that's the thing, right? Losing your, uh, losing your scout to the town center is your own fault, for the most part. So you deserve to be punished, sort of. There was, was Lyra still doing it, even though it's patched. I'm more uh, worried about all the bugs that come with the mechanical change. What mechanical change are you referring to? AOE 2, now with outposts. Suddenly Ethiopians is the best city, guys. Because you now uh, need to make outposts. Jordan is typing yes in Team Game 2K. Oh boy. Team games after this game, guys. Let's go. Uh, let me just get over what I missed here. Uh, Dagoberto, thanks for two months earlier, by the way. So happy to have found the channel of the Snake. Big fan, thanks for the content. You're welcome, dude. Thanks for coming by. Uh, Andy Mandering, thank you for the three months. And Shinji Max, thanks for the seven. I'm not like this. You should never do this. Never move out with three archers. But I have a feeling he's not actually doing anything. So it's kind of why we're just testing the waters right now. It feels to me like this is just a fast castle sort of build. Yeah. Just a scout. But he can do that because I, I lost my scout, right? I don't have any way of punishing him. But I did go fairly greedy myself. The, I mean, the big thing I didn't do, I guess, is that I... You know what? I can punish him here. This stone. The big thing I didn't do here is... Ooh. Actually, I don't even need villagers forward to punish him. I should not have done plus one armor on my arches. But besides that, I went for eco upgrades and everything myself. So. so 
So I, I don't want him to take the stone, right? Because then he can drop a castle and do the first crusade. Hey, I haven't seen Step Lancer used in almost a year. I would love to see a full Mango Tatter Step Lancer play. Much love. I think the Civ Step Lancers are most viable with right now are Tatters. I think they are the uh, Step Lancer Civ right now. To be fair, they are the, the everything Civ. So. How does the accuracy of projectiles feel now? Uh, I, I don't have too much on that yet. I haven't played enough with gunpowder to have a proper opinion on that. Yeah, give me give me another week to play with with these units and, and we'll see. So I want to punish. I want to make sure he cannot take the stone, right? That's the main thing. He's gonna try and expand on it now. So likely that I cannot fully deny it, but we will have some cow watchers out on the field soon. I actually got a villager kill. Why did he delete that? Either for the scorpion to go out or for him to drop a town center here. It's a town center. Oh. That can definitely still be punished though. Hello, I pray have a good day. Thank you, Wood Paladin. Same to you. I don't need armor. <gasps> Did he see her? Did he see her? I'm not sure if you saw her. He's coming forward with uh, one scorpion, madman. At least I thought so. Let's see if we can punish him one way or another. Still on it? Oh, okay, he is. He's already dropping a castle. That's bad. That's really bad. I'm gonna be fighting 50 sergeants. It's already. Oh, yeah, true. Freaking bonus. 100% faster building. Well, shit. 50 sergeants are gonna spawn in a little bit. <laughs> uh, Alright. I wanted to build a tower there, but it doesn't make sense anymore. We are into. For so I mean, I'm behind the eco anyway, right? And then I'm gonna also be having to fight 50 sergeants soon. I uh, will not enjoy this. 
think I should go for Thumb Ring. I'm interested to see though how difficult it is to stop it. We will know, trust me. Just pay attention to his score. We will know how much he has. Or when they come, so to say. Oh, there we go! <laughs> the score change! <laughs> They're pretty slow though, right? I mean, they don't seem like a scary unit when I have cow archers. But they're gonna buy him a lot of time. Considering that he has three TCs himself. Post Imp Mega Tank. Yeah, I heard people say that they're very, very good in Post Imperial Age. That's uh, the place I don't have enough experience with this unit yet. But the issue behind this for me now is that at the same time as this is all happening, he's also he has untouched eco behind his base, right? So even though it looks like I'm trading well, my score is climbing, you know, doesn't look too bad. When you look at a deeper picture or bigger picture, it's not as pretty as it seems. I would say we're entering a game where the score definitely lies. Because he should have a roughly, I would say, 30 village elite. And that's not a situation you want to be in. The only reason my score is equal now is because I killed all his 50 sergeants. You guys look at the bigger picture, I look, look at the deeper picture, that's it. Uh, tunnel, thank you for the 200 bits, by the way. Tunnel rat. Then I'm thought, thanks for the seven months. Are Mongols better early castle age, though? Early castle, though. Compared to exactly what? What are you referring to? Probably been housed for five minutes, that is true. Sicilians don't have any good options though, and a terrible tech tree, so his equal advantage doesn't mean as much as with relatives. Well, if, if what you guys are saying regarding the sergeant, that it's super tanky and OP and Imperial Age, if that's the case, then he does have options, yes. right? Because according to how this should work now, he should have a way better economy than us um, for long term. No matter what, he should have a better eco. And then that means he should get to Imperial Age faster, this faster, that faster, you know. Just uh, regular. I will have a bigger standing army now, and we're gonna have to see if we can actually utilize this for anything. But as I said again, he has had time enough now to the point where I think. I think there's also gonna be a castle in front of this. Oh, he has switched to Skirms, even. Right. Let's drop this university. He has switched to Skirms, so he's taking the... He's using his equal lead now to make counter units. Pretty much. I still, I think I want to go back on stone. Maybe make some Tarkanitos. 
some point. And again, he has a castle up as well. So I think if you want to actually try to counter this, it's all about pressure before he can get his castle up. But obviously in this case, I lost my I lost my scout, so I had no scouting intel, and uh, it was super easy for him to just go fast castle, unpunished. What thing about the new Maya skirms? Uh, feels pretty bad. But the, the, the jury is still out. But uh, yeah, I'm not impressed. So how do we punish this, right? I could have added eco earlier, obviously, myself. I went for 1 PC Siege. Cow Watcher play. I think the next question will be when will he hit, he hit Imperial Age? That will be our next obstacle to uh, try and deal with. Big cast slash ramp play? I uh, don't think that is likely to work. Oh, hello. He's also collecting relics. There they are. I mean, there is. I do have map control still for the time being, so I could take some important hills. But I think it's clicked up now to imp. Like, does this hill make sense though, considering that he will be up before us? So I think this hill is more likely to be successful. But then again, he's already got the castle there, maybe even further. Yeah, something like that. I gotta get up as well to have a chance to fight, to compete. If I don't get up ASAP. Atheism rush. <laughs> that that affects relics now, right? So it's actually not that useless anymore. Actually, not a useless, a useless upgrade. Who would have thought? Uh, there's a castle there too. I wonder how Tarkins do against sergeants. My guess would be not very good. KD now is probably insane. Probably. I guess what makes sense is a star cow archer. Heal up cow archers. We gotta wait for our. Okay, that's a lot of resources. We gotta wait for our. Our beautiful English word, herbal medicine. That's it. Oh, just castles everywhere, man. And they build in 10 seconds. Oh, we do have relic advantage for the time being. I will hit Imperial Age with 200 pop. It's not all bad. What are you building there? Okay, I, I'm not sure I like what I'm doing here. I'm building all my production buildings forward, which could very easily get punished here. It's gonna be annoying. Oh, 
Get it up. Oh, we did pick off those initial traps. So that's good. All in all, it's not, it's not looking too bad. Oh, even a relic there. So I'm actually gonna have four relics. What? Looks surprisingly good. In the end. It's like he wants to just go for a rating gameplay for, very for the time being. Don't think I can rate him too much yet because of the situation with with his castles everywhere. Oh, okay. versus light carriage. You just gotta hope they don't last forever. And that I start forcing some actual fights. He does have lead sergeants. But I also have a really good coward mess. So I mean you'd imagine that I should be looking decent still. It lives! Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, now the question is upgrade upgrade prioritization. I guess I should go for heavy cow archers. I plan to win Red Bull 4 with cow archers. I cannot repeat what the Lord has done already. He has copyright on that. I'm afraid. Should we go Atheism? Uh, he only has two relics. Uh, one relic. I don't think me going Atheism is worth it. Alright, I'm, I'm annoyed by these raids now. Let's do a castle there. Yeah, let's see how the tech tree of the uh, Sicilians play out now. Oh! That's not nice. So they have what, 15 attack, 8 pierce armor, I got one trap, I yeah, most likely will lose this. They were doing a good job, or trading well though. Yeah, this side, this is definitely a goner. They don't seem overly impressive in these small engages, but then again, obviously this is a very small sample of engagements. Don't do that. I do have time on my side though, with my extra goals, right? Now some hunts, I don't need, I can probably get by with 106 villagers here, as long as I have uh, relics and map control. Wait, true, they have the same armor as uh, Malian champion, yeah? It's pretty nuts. Yeah, my characters should trade so well to the point where where it's not a problem for me that he has uh,
but he tries to raid all the time. I think we're in a very good spot. Cecilia's are so bad late game. I mean, they still have the whole, the whole bonus of like taking less damage and things like that from counter units. Right? They still have those things, but yeah, the question is how good are they really? I think this is still, again, just like the last game, I think it goes to show that the new civs aren't necessarily broken. They just have certain techs that makes make them extremely gimmicky and strange to play, so to say. Okay, that's a very good fight for him. One example of the sergeants being tanky AF. How expensive is a sergeant? Six to twelve, six to thirty-five. Okay, that should be fine. I'm still, I'm losing some bills, but I'm still trading well, and I, my cowacher numbers aren't dwindling. And in a game like this, your game is pretty much based around your cowacher numbers. As long as they stay alive, you're fine. I would like to get my food eco rolling a little bit better though. No. So I think Pikeman in as well now. What? Huns don't have herbal medicine? How sad is that? Why would a civilization not have herbal medicine? That's just sad. I cannot win this game until he's completely out of gold, because the sergeants seem like they are just uh, trading very well against Hustar in particular. So once he's out of gold is when I kind of can start to plan to win the game. I think I'm reaching a point where I could consider Hustar as well. Uh, not Hustar, Tarkin. Why not go full Paladin? Uh, I don't have that much gold, I'm afraid. Yeah, he's trying to raid me, but like, the raids don't really bother me that much. I build up a bigger, even bigger army that will be destroyable for him when the time comes. So I think we have enough now to start like forcing the issue. So we will place uh, Armina on the hill in his face. So he cannot ignore the threat anymore and just go for the raids. He's actually gonna have to fight me.
Hello? I think I'm fine. Lucy, some. Oh, the trap is alive! What? The trap is still alive? What? The value, he's gonna snipe you with skirms. A 2 HP trap. Let's go. That's a crazy trebuchet. Now we repair it. No, it went down. I just don't think he will ever be able to kill this army. I'm down to 73 villagers, meaning I have almost 130 army. That's a big army. Imagine if I had this position and I had Flemish, Flemish Revolution, right? I would just now make all my villagers army and then I would attack and there's no way he can win the game ever. Which is what makes it just a uh, win or lose technology. Alright, let's dive in. Actually, not trading too great here and fighting skirms. So that does make sense. But still. Alright. So, first crusade is counterable. Let's have a look at Sicilians here again. I really think this bonus is shouldn't be there. Uh, that's not wrong, right? Uh, I, th I think this bonus is too strong. I think town centers and castles should not be 100% faster. Because... Um, castles build built 100% faster is just too fast. But I'm thinking more towards nomad balance as well, right? Uh, Sicilian's town center go up so fast. You're going to have such a big lead on every other civilization. So, personal opinion right now is that this should probably be lowered to maybe 50%. Something like that. I think with 50%, I mean, you still build faster than Spanish builds even, town centers, so. 15% per age. Hmm, that could be an interesting one. Per age is actually an interesting one, yeah. I like that. Uh, Lamers units receive 50% less bonus damage. Maybe this should be tweaked to 33-ish. Farmer Chris provides extra food. Can build dungeon. That is fine. First Crusade, I think, should make the next 30 sergeants free of, free of cost. But not spawn. That's my opinion. Scootage, I don't have enough experience with yet. I think in return, you could possibly consider giving them Thumbring to make their Arbalus play a little bit more viable. Because I think they need some compensation. I mean, their stable is also terrible, right? I mean, the Knights are still very powerful in Cavalier because they don't take as much damage from Pikemen and Halps. So the stable is not as bad as it seems. The Siege is pretty solid. Dock is solid. Sergeants are good. Can't nerf nerf everything though. Yeah, I, I of course of course. But I just think these bonuses are a little bit too high to begin with. I think if you make first crusade, next third is sergeants free of cost. 
this castles and town centers, let's just put a f flat 50% rate on that and 33% on land military units and give them thumb rings. I think they will be a very good, very solid civ. Uh, let, me see, um, let me check the monastery. I haven't looked properly at that. Monastery. Ooh. Not good. <laughs> so I read in chat someone said they're an all in clown civ. And no, when I think clown, I think arena and monk rushes and such. Yeah, pretty sick KD. So, yeah. Their monastery was not impressive. All right, so this is where he does First Crusade. He has twice my village account at, at this point, or 75% more. <laughs> is the tech tree that, like, I feel like, what if he just goes full sergeant in Imperial Age? Don't I die? Let me just tell them I'm coming. I mean, I still have a big... I have a big army, which means... I have cav archers to defend for the time being, but still, my economic disadvantage is still big enough that where I feel like... I mean, but this is the thing, right? I have a big army in Castle Age, so the transition to Imp is smoother for me. He doesn't have any army going to Imp, so it takes time for him to get going still. So with a weak tech tree, it does make sense that he struggles still to get a foothold on the game. Hmm. It's, it's interesting. I'm, I still honestly cannot say that I'm 100% made up on my, my mind on Sicilians. Obviously still early days. But I still think some of what I said could be a good way to adjust them. But I just don't like the whole um, instant spawn. The biggest issue I have with them is the instant spawn of 50 sergeants. That's the biggest one I dislike. <laughs> 